r slash ask reddit doctors of reddit what's your thank god they came in for a second opinion moment oh god where to start i literally just admitted this lady to iq had been coughing for ages 60 pound weight loss smoker for 50 years now she can't breathe and i got a ct 6 centimeter mass looks very suspicious for lung cancer and the doctors for 4 years throughout this just gave her vitamin D slashy, even though she was losing massive weight and coughing up blood. Another guy who came in looked pale as a ghost. Chief complaint was fatigue. One lab test later found out his hemoglobin was 4, barely on the cusp of survival. Seems like he had iron deficiency anemia 4 years. Doctor gave him some iron. He got better but no one looked into why he got it. Number 1, 2, 3 reason in an older guy's colon cancer. He died 4 months later from metastatic colon cancer. Another story last month was about to take a long trip across the Pacific 1 hour in on the flight they ask for a doctor. I volunteer myself. I see this lady literally gasping for air, like waving her hands in the air cause she can't breathe. Look through the meds, she's obviously an asthmatic. Listen to her lungs and feigned wheezing no air movement at all. I later grounded that plane, because there was another 16 hours to go, and she was on verge of being intubated. Later I get more story from family member. Apparently she wasn't been able to sleep well for past 2 weeks. Doctor just gave her sleeping meds, more and more of it told her flying no problem point i ask the family why can't she sleep is it because she wakes up in the middle of the night gasping for air classic sign of uncontrolled asthma they're like yes how did you know sleeping meds prob among worst things she could have gotten and almost killed a patient by saying she could fly people who get diagnosed with bronchitis when they have heart failure and literally drowning in fluid there are doctors who give antibiotics and steroids for everything ESP when they have no idea what's going on. Maybe I'm biased because I work at an academic center, so I see all the cases who get referred in because they are too sick or no one can figure out but at least a few times a week I'm like wow this person could have been saved or not end up this way if someone cared enough earlier on. I'm going to say this as a doctor. It's honestly scary every day how many patients I see are completely mismanaged. Some doctors in urgent care see like 45 patients in a day. How is that possible to be thorough? Like if only patients knew what the doctors missed or what not. Half the time I really think it's like going to an bad auto shop and not realizing they are just making half the shit up. Same thing happens in medicine and except people's lives suffer because of it. Edit added a story. I can't count how many I was told it was a headache, but I just wanted to come in and have it looked at in case it was something else as I've seen. Of course, those are the patients that are the nicest and are profusely apologizing for wasting our time, and of course, those are the patients that have a brain tumor show up on their court scans. I'm not a doctor, but I originally went into the doctors, because I was really tired the doctor waved it off, but my mom insisted I should get a CBC, complete blood count, they found that my platelets were extremely low which resulted in them running additional tests to find that I actually had acute lymphoblastic leukemia, no idea to this day why my mom made me go back to get a CBC, but I'm grateful, edit, I get it it's grateful. I was like 10 and my parents took me to the doctor cause I thought I broke my leg skateboarding. He said it was a third degree sprain, told me ITD be fine. I pointed out lines in the ray, and he said they were nothing. I somehow convinced my mom to take me somewhere else, and they confirmed I had multiple hairline fractures in my growth plate. Not a doctor, but I heard my son's doctor say this. I took him to the air late one night because of coughing and a high fever. They took an x-ray, gave him ibuprofen, and told us he was fine. Doctor showed me the x-rays to prove it, and gave me a dirty look, when I asked what the dark spots were. I told her she was an idiot and took him to urgent care 4 hours later. The doctor that saw him immediately diagnosed him with pneumonia, and confirmed with rays. I flat out refused to pay for the air visit, and told them that, if they persisted with collections I would push their incompetence. They never called me again. 
I got a moderate traumatic brain injury in October and the week after I got home from the hospital I wasn't acting like myself was refusing to eat and just didn't make much sense. My mom called the doctor a few times they said it was normal but to take me in if anything changed. She took me in on the Saturday a week later because I started slurring my speech and was unsteady on my feet. The injury caused my sodium levels to drop from 140, normal, to 119. This in turn caused stroke-like symptoms which were in reality a series of small seizures. Not a doctor, but have had a second opinion save my pages. Noticed blood in my urine and went to family doctor. Family doctor said it was a normal injury and would go away. Went for a second opinion with a urologist and after a bunch of tests they found scar tissue built up in my urethra that was causing inflammation and if left untreated would cause the urinary tract to close. So they removed the scar tissue and I about cried while peeing for weeks after, even while on pain medication until it healed. But at least I could still pee and that was thanks to the second opinion. A bit of background. In my field of audiology we have people licensed to diagnose not only hearing issues, but balance disorders and other factors impacting listening and understanding. We also have another field who popped up when it was not considered as ethical for us to treat those more serious hearing issues, that is with hearing aids, but they don't need the same doctorate level training, just barely high school or some college depending on jurisdiction. So I had a patient come in with a serious difference between left and right hearing and this in itself is considered a red flag because both ears are exposed to the same things over time and there are very few explanations as to why one would get so bad. The patient could hardly understand words on that bad side and the better ear was pretty good overall, just minor hearing loss perhaps age related. Immediately upon seeing these test results, the ENT and I agreed to send this patient for an MRI of the head because something was off. The patient confirmed no MRI or medical treatment had been recommended in the past and only hearing aids by this lesser trained hearing aid dealer working for a popular US chain. The patient had been wearing these hearing aids already for a few years. The MRI results came back. Massive tumor on the hearing nerve. The hearing aid dealer is being investigated currently for malpractice, or more specifically a violation of state laws regarding red flags. If not a doc, but happened to my wife and I, she was 3 months pregnant and did ultrasound. Or normal. Baby heart rate was 99, and healthy. However for some reason, the ultrasound tech forgot to measure something, and doc ordered a second ultrasound. Second act in about a month, as my wife wanted to delay as she hated, having to drink so much and not pee so the ultrasound comes out clearer. I couldn't be with her for second ultrasound as work got in the way. However she calls me tearfully saying that the doctor ordered she abort the fetus for her safety and her health, and she insisted on calling me to let me know before she did the procedure. Apparently the baby heart rate hadn't changed since first ultrasound a month ago, and this was bad enough to put mom at risk in pregnancy. I fucking flew to the hospital. I can't remember how I got there, but I crossed heavy traffic to the hospital in about 10 minutes of what is normally a 20 minute trip. Parked on curb, jumped out and rushed to her room. Thankfully nothing happened to her yet, and I just camped there insisting on another ultrasound. I kept telling the doctor it was a copy paste error. You see, the heart rate from first ultrasound to second was exactly the same. I knew, just knew, that the tech copy pasted the first report and forgot to update that rate. I screamed bloody murder if anyone would touch my wife. Security was almost called until another doc came in and said just do another ultrasound to decide the issue. They ordered a second ultrasound and heart rate was normal. My son is now 10, and I remember that fear and rage every day I look at him. <laughs> Heard this from an ultrasound tech. A man came in severely injured after a car accident. The man had a laceration above his right thigh along with a puncture wound from his door or something from the car. Can't remember. The doctor ordered an ultrasound of this man's leg in order to make sure the vein had not been punctured. The guy was doped up on painkillers by the time he had gotten to the tech, so he was loopy as hell while she was performing the scan. She felt something metallic against his arm when she was positioning his thigh to get a full scan. She asked him if his leg had another puncture wound on the inside of his thigh. He told her no, he just has a massive piercing on his penis, like a fucking bullhorn or some shit. 
she asked him to position his privates away from her while she performed the rest of the scan. Breaking HIPAA laws, this tech told her husband, at home not at work, about this man's piercing. Her husband was a MRI tech at the same hospital. The next day, the same man was scheduled for an MRI on his thigh. Now MRIs are magnetic resonance imaging, so it's literally a fucking magnet that will fuck up piercings. Because that ultrasound tech had broken HIPAA laws, she actually had saved this man's dick. Her husband warned him to remove all piercings from his body and made sure this man knew that he meant all piercings. Not exactly a second opinion story, but whatever. I'd love it if you liked and subscribed.